that's a Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Talk Like This. I am your host, Trey the Barber. And this your other host, Dice the Barber. I'm over here. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, Kush is in the building as always. This nigga down here man, on this, this nigga phone, fucking up all already. Like, we like 30 seconds in and this nigga Play the song, Kush. Up. All right, well, today. Play the song, Kush. Nigga, nigga, because I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to set up, I'm trying to set up the uh, Barbershop <laughs> Talk Like I'm, This. I'm, I'm, Podcast on the Funny Barbers page, nigga. Like, and, and I was distracted. You excuse me. All right. Like 20 All right. Minutes, right. Shut the fuck right. up. Right, right. We've been setting up for like 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Minutes. Anyway, 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 anyway. Oh, today, so in the building on the show, <laughs> Today, we got my man, Mr. Tahir Jahi. Yeah. This man is a man of many talents, so I can't really just give him a straight out introduction on anything specific. So we're going to get into all that in a minute. Say what's up to the people. Peace, peace. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Peace. We feeling great, man. How you what feeling? You? Uh, man, I'm feeling fantastic. Y'all got me out here. Missing uh, NFL games, but hey, but your I team don't good. play till later, though, right? This is true. Okay, yeah, this, is right. this is why I'm here. Listen, this is why this is why this is why we scheduled at this time this morning because everybody's team besides Cushions is playing later on. Yeah, my team right. play at one. The uh, the, the Bears, nigga, the, the Bears. These niggas know. All right, so first of all, you know, uh, we always start our show off by saying thank you to the Lord for waking us up this morning, mm -hmm. allowing each and every last one of us to make it through our weeks. You know what I'm saying? And just to be here, you know what I'm saying? So we thank him for that. Amen. Mm. Amen. amen. Everybody now, say amen. You know what I'm saying? Now that we've said our blessings, we always start our show off with a shot oh, following our prayer. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sounds appropriate. It yeah. sounds appropriate. Yeah. At least we ain't drinking yeah. before the prayer. Yeah. And since and since well, you don't I, since you're not a drinker, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We're going you, you going to bless it with you know with some with some holy with water. Some water. Okay, right. Bye. And it's that Henny white. Mm, mm. Shit Ooh. tastes like apple juice. Uh -huh. Stay huh. hydrated, people. Stay hydrated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, woo, woo. <laughs> that shit hit me right there. Woo. That's that shit right there, boy. So, so um, Flair, boy. So here, tell, tell the people a little he bit said, about it. That's that Ric Flair, you. boy. <laughs> woo! <laughs> I'm gonna use that nigga. Facts. Well, I just used it. Mm. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Mm. So, yeah. uh, all right, Dice. You know, we, we ain't gonna get off on the wrong foot already. <laughs> We're going to get this man a no chance to enter the right. We're going to get this man a chance. Any, you ain't said shit yet. I'm trying. I've been trying to, nigga. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We ain't going to get off on the wrong foot today. We're going to start off on the right go foot. Again. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. You know, it's like I said, you're a man of many talents. So, Okay. So, uh, first and foremost, I'm an artist, a uh, hip-hop artist. That's the time over. Uh, so, I have a hip-hop rock band called Race Card. Uh, I'm also a solo artist as well. Mm -hmm. I go under the name Tahir Jahi. So, I have few projects out for that. Um, but mainly, I am a founder of an application called Rapify, which is a social network for hip-hop culture. Wow. Dope. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to get into that one in a minute. Okay. I want to backtrack a little bit because you uh, said something that was interesting to me, and said? that was a hip-hop rock band. Okay. Mm, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You don't, you don't hear card. Race, race card. Race card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Like, wh where, where did... Where did the uh, the idea from the group come from? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How did you come up with your name? You know okay. what I'm saying? Give us a little bit about the group. So originally, I worked at a company called mp3.com. Wow. Uh, this was in San Diego uh, some years ago. Uh, I was hired on pre-IPO. You know, they just hit me with, you know, salary, stock options right out of school. So I was just like, yo, this is the move right here. So, uh, and it was a music tech company that created the first music cloud service, right? Okay. Uh, so this is a little back end on, on the actual company. Um, in that company, there were a lot of tech heads and music heads. Um, one by the name of Damien Hager, which he's a tech head, plus he's a guitarist. And he sent me a bunch of like instrumentals that he was just like playing, you know? And mm -hmm. I was like, yo, this is dope. I wrote to him, sent it back to him. They sent it all around the company. People was like buzzing about it. Like, yo, y'all should do more. So we started putting more together. Uh, later on, added uh, a drummer, a bassist, That's and what's up. boom. So, uh, I mean, what, so what kind of sound is that? I mean, hip hop, so they like rocking out like regular rock music right. and you spitting hip hop bars. Bars. Absolutely. It's, it, I would say uh, Rage Against the Machine has been the comparison okay. for a lot, you know. Um, you spitting that aggressive? 
Absolutely. It's it's highly political. Okay. You know, we're talking about what's happening. You know I mean, the name of the group is called Race, race Car. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So is that's, everybody is everybody in, in your uh, group, are mm-hmm. they a multiracial? Oh, uh, everyone's white. Hits the word race car. Yeah, hits the word race car. I'm the only black dude in the band. And funny. Uh, the funny funny fact about that it is, is... a serious metaphor there, right yeah. there, with that... that Play the yeah, play the race card. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's serious. So it's 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 been fun. We're all Gemini, which is funny as well. I don't know how that even happened, but everybody in the band is a Gemini. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, for so. all y'all that give a fuck about uh, 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 signs, do y'all right? flips coincide. So you, you don't give a fuck about your signs. <laughs> yeah, I do give a fuck about my signs. I'm just saying for the people who do give a fuck about their signs, nigga. But they all said, Gemini. You said it as if you didn't give a fuck. So I mean, listen, nigga. I mean, and listen. I had y'all on the clock to see how long it's gonna take y'all niggas to argue. It's four <laughs> minutes, nigga. <laughs> four fucking oh, minutes, shit. nigga. I mean, I just. Paul, that's what that clock was for. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so so but but the thing is, but the thing is, like you've been you've been you know spitting like you started rhyming since you was like what thirteen, right? Yeah, thirteen. Um, I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, BGH shout out to Wiz Khalifa, R- R.I.P. Mac Miller. Yeah. Um, Facts. but there's a lot of a lot of talent R. R. coming out of Pittsburgh, and you know. People like Dr. Dre knew that, you know what I mean? Shouts out to Mel, man. Yeah. There you go. Shouts out to Butter. I got a yeah. lot what you know of about that, nigga. Nigga, yeah. first of all, when I first got out here, my first job was with Doc, and mm. Mel Man was around, and Bill his District. crew was around. And most of the fun sessions that I had were mm. with Mel Man. Mel Man was a joke ass nigga. Like, so Mel so so That's most Pittsburgh so niggas. Nigga, right there. Like, 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 I learned I, <laughs> them niggas called niggas Ike, Ike, Ike and all that shit. What up, Ike? What up, Ike? That was all that shit for Mel Man must have got caught on the cut. Huh? Uh, I don't know. Because I, I mean, you ain't seen that nigga in a minute. He be around. He, he be in the, he he be be in the back end. Never heard around. of that motherfucker. Nah. He be he be the, wait, wait, wait. What you, what you looking at? My, my, that, I, I my metaphor? Dead. Yeah, that, that was the <laughs> corniest <laughs> joke ever. I can't yeah, he believe, tried. I can't believe that. I'm getting away with that. No, no, no. man must have got caught on the tight. I was skipping right out there. You saw I went right by it. I was like, I don't know about that. I was just like, I'm still trying to figure that shit out. No, 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 no. Niggas in jail. Niggas in jail. Niggas in jail. E-L. Niggas in jail send yeah. a kite. You Gosh, know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> Mel, Mel, man. When you, when you, when you gotta Mel. explain the joke, yeah, though. Right. You know what I mean? Excuse my lack of prison knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What's prison knowledge? But you get it now. I get it. All right, all right. That's why, you know what I mean? Ike Talk was strictly Hill District. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, shouts out to Joe the Beast. You know, that's yeah, nigga, a, Noah is mm, one of my favorite mm, joints. Nigga, I was around mm, Joe Beast too, dog. There you I go. Was, yeah, that yeah. whole when they was out here in 02, 02 and the 02 coming in the 03, when 50 shit was getting done and game at first mm. got it was game, Joe Beast, mm, 50, mm, mm. Shanta, uh, Buster wasn't there yet. E- Eve was like, Eve was coming around, but and that whole Pittsburgh click, Mel was like leading that shit. Nigga. Facts. So, Facts. so, so you a Steelers fan, right? Absolutely. What y'all going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know he's Casey. I mean, you know, y'all might be playing them in, in hey. the first, in the second round because hey, I think man, y'all going to get that that uh that first round bye. But um, what, what you think y'all going to do? Like, what you think about think, um Roethlisberg and all that shit? Well, I mean, what are we talking about with Roethlisberger? I mean, I'm just saying, like, do you do you think I, you, you think it, he done now after this season or no? Or? I think he got one more year in him. Um, but. Yeah, I believe you he got one more year. I think he. I, I believe that. Um, but if, if we so win this, but hate. if we win this year, he's done. He'll he'll wrap it up this year. I feel I that, think but he wants that's one not more happening. So, so I think he got one more year. In other words, he got one more. He got another year. We'll see. We'll see. We we lost nah, three. Nigga, like, we, we lost three, and then we beat New England. So I'm expecting us Baltimore to win throughout. Baltimore just won yesterday, though. I, yeah. What does that mean? I mean, that means that they're on y'all hills. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if they win, if they win next week against Cleveland. Well, y'all gonna y'all gonna hear this uh, uh, on Thursday. But if they win next week against Cleveland, mm. you know what I'm saying, then they might end up winning y'all division. Might, might. Right. Y'all might be a, who, a wild won, card. Who who's won the division every year? Yeah, for the last like for the last. Yeah. I mean, exactly. but but I mean, but but listen, everything Except don't the stay the same forever. Except this is true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are, like, I mean, motherfucking shit changes. Well, the destiny <laughs> is in our own. 
on Hamptons, right? Yeah, so I'm, right I'm, now, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so you feel confident? You know what I mean? And, and what about Connor and um, taking over for uh, what, what you feel about the Lady whole Le'Veon Bell, Bell yeah. situation and shit? I bring him to KC. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna end up. Shit, not gonna I, you know, happen. I love Le'Veon first and foremost. I, I like the fact that brothers are about their business, um, but I think it was very short sighted. Um, from his standpoint, I think if you if you stay if you stay in in Pittsburgh, I think you're able to segue into other things. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, the city makes sure that, i.e., the bus. But um, he, he wants his money. He wants it now. I don't I don't fault a man for that. He'll end up with the Dolphins uh, or Indianapolis. You know what I'm saying? Out, I don't think he's going. He wants his money. He wants it now. Right? Man, they they he keep asking he, he, he for he the deserves money. Three years straight that, asking three for his years bread. In a row. He right. deserved so it. What, I mean, but he deserved that bread. I'm not saying he didn't deserve it. At what point do you stand ground? Like you know what? Fuck this. You know what I'm saying? I know. I like what he did. I like what he did. I mean, I mean, I like what he did. I mean, because because if they would have if they franchise him again for another fucking year, they got to give him quarterback franchise. Money, uh, well, which is like thirty million a year. Well, he he would still be the highest paid running back in the league. We offered yeah. him that for sure. He wanted second. He, he wanted fifteen wide million receiver a year. money. Which, he wanted fifteen million a year. You know what I mean? Because he's worth that, I, yeah, right? He's, no, listen, he, listen. he's the workhorse. Hold on, wait. He, hold on. Up Go until ahead. this year, he has been the workhorse for y'all team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't he, completed. How many seasons has he completed? It's right? the bumblebees, One, man. It's two. the bumblebees. It's, it's football, been, it's been, man. Know, I mean, how many seasons has he completed? It's the three bees, bro. You know what I mean? Ben Roethlisberger, you know what I mean? Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, nigga. You know I mean? Like, actual and like, listen, I agree wholeheartedly with what y'all saying, but here's a man, his, what, first couple, not the first season, but the uh, seasons man, following, man. he was... What he uh, sat out? Not sat out. He was suspended for four games twice. And then you know what, what he saying? came back and did? I'm not saying. Listen, I'm looking at the whole picture. Hey, if I'm going to invest listen, in listen, somebody, listen, listen. It is not bad that that nigga believes in. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not smoke weed every day. I'm not There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, but if your if your business if your business is to is your body. And <laughs> this, it, <laughs> that nigga's t- grabbing man any bottles. If, if you know the history of our podcast, What's that? I have to now monitor uh, my co-host. <laughs> and this, oh. nigga, this nigga just mixed Hennessy and vodka like, oh, oh shit. So, you know, uh, because, uh, <laughs> Chris, listen, listen, listen. what does that timer Flavor, say right now? Like, oh, Let me tell you like, something real quick. We're at like seven look, minutes in like and this nigga's on his second shot. Uh, Let me tell you, I only had a shot. I only had a shot of that Henny. Nigga, did you tell me outside you was hungover from last Last night, yeah, I mean, I was drinking, editing the video. I was editing the fucking video, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I like to have my drink, and I was drinking vodka, you know what I'm saying? So, therefore, I'm still going to drink the vodka, but, but I had to take a shot with y'all niggas. Tune in oh, to episode I mean? two, listen, this is gonna be live listen, as listen, fuck. Listen, because I had to give y'all, I had to give y'all a shot of the Henny White. You know what I mean? Because y'all my motherfucking nick. And then you and had listen, to mix and it. I, I so now I mean, so so now I mean, I'm back to the vodka. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That was just only one shot of the cognac. You know okay. what I mean? You got okay. the cognac, okay. but I'm still continuing to drink what I had last night. Okay. okay. All That's right. Cool. Okay. But listen, but don't I, monitor my drinks. Oh, we gonna I'm, monitor. I'm not, I'm not listen, we got a whole nother show like, to go. Look, I'm just laughing at the Paul. Like, hey, Paul, them like we got a new table. We want to keep this right. So, Paul, I'm gonna make sure we we keep this table today. I'm you know with Trey on keeping it. Tight. Oh, <laughs> fuck these <laughs> niggas. No shenanigans, Paul. <laughs> See, you don't know. Like, Dice, that nigga sit back and he takes them shots. Like, you hit that water shot. <laughs> right, 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 right. But his ain't water. You know what I'm saying? And before you know it, this nigga's around here. He tore up the table last time. Boom. Oh, he yeah. turns into the yeah. incredible Dice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you I mean, smashed out the whole shit? Nah, I, I didn't even remember that. That's <laughs> <laughs> why I took the drink and sat on Not to say that yo, he can't have no more. Yeah, yo, we're going to make sure this shit is in moderation. And I'm not going to ask this nigga, like, yo. Dice, dog. Nigga, exactly. I'm like, nah. <laughs> oh, he going to look at the yet. time like, yeah. yeah nah, we nah, only nah. 20 minutes into this shit. That's, That's hysterical. hysterical. No. No, I mean, but, um, but yeah, um, I think the Steelers, mm-hmm. I think. Eh, I think they might make it like second round. I don't think they. I don't think. Really, don't think they're gonna. What about the, the fish? AFC. How the fish? <laughs> going? How the fish gonna do? Oh come on! Nice. Nice. I already went through that. Look, they explained it to me outside. You don't know about you know the fish. Pittsburgh don't got a basketball team, <laughs> son. 
But the only the only, the precursor to Space Jam <laughs> is Dr. J's movie, and it's called The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. Um, Nigga, I'm looking like what the fuck? The only <laughs> basketball <laughs> that they got the fish that Pittsburgh that ever had. Besides the, uh, it was a basketball team in the ABA <laughs> though. It was another team. Oh shit, he busting oh, the, the shit, Pittsburgh nigga, facts yo, out here. Yo, yeah. yo, yo, yo fish, nigga. Trace, Trace, see my face. That nigga was like, who they got the fish? That nigga said. Ain't no water around Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> but he looking no. around. That nigga looking at me like, nigga, what are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's hysterics, man. Absolutely oh, hysterics. Man. Yo, uh, that shit is hilarious. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm like, shout out to Dr. J and the Philly Connection. Oh, the so Pitch, shout man. out to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Yo, so um, tell us, tell, tell us more about um, Rap City. Rap, rap of five. Rap of five. Rap rap this, is, this, is why, this is why you took the alcohol, right here. It was a show on BT exactly. in the uh, on, 80s and 90s. Right. See, uh, rap on top of that. Shouts out to Rhapsody, the rapper. You know what I'm and Rap City, yeah. the TV show. Right, right, right. right. And this the motherfucking Apple Bear, Big Titty, oh, Big Tigger, oh, uh, 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 Prince <laughs> DeJour, <laughs> Big Les, nigga. All of them. BT, Donnie Simpson, Sherry Carter. Oh, my God. That's this is what happens with niggas. You understand what I'm saying? See, Tahir sent me his bio yesterday, right? Paul, listen. Yo, Tahir sent me his bio yesterday, right? So I emailed it to Dice. Now, we the type of niggas that don't check emails. I got so like 20,000 unread so emails. So I text like, Dice. Shit. I say, yo, I just emailed you Tahir's bio. Check it out. He texts me back, okay. <laughs> so we came here in the front this morning. We this is in ask, him, ask him what this, he was doing when he texts back, okay. Nigga, I was drinking and editing the video. See, wait, 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 stop. <laughs> don't say editing the video. You were what? I was drinking and Mom, editing. Don't, don't say editing the video. Just stop right there and drinking. I was Paul. drinking. Okay, so right, there, <laughs> so right there, we already know. We already know the shenanigans. I don't know why this nigga didn't know that shit, because he know Dice was drinking. You knew Dice I, was I, drinking. I really did. Nigga, I had a long week. It's been busy. It's holiday season. Nigga, I, I needed a drink last night. Nigga, like, I'm off today. I was like, Usually yeah, listen, nigga. he drinks, you know what I'm saying, he'll text back. It's typically a few minutes later. It's never like really right away. Right. Because I was editing it, so it hit in my thing. He so texted me dry, back had right away. Okay. So now I'm I mean, like, right, because I was editing. Now I mean, I was editing. I, I was. I, I'm not doing sideways. Side I don't want to do uh, sideways. I'm not talking to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I mean, so I was editing. So as soon, you know, on iPhone, when you get a text message, if you're doing something, it just pops up right there. So I just hit the pull down thing, and I hit okay, nigga. Like I'm not even thinking about it. By the time I got done editing, nigga, I forgot that he emailed me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we get here this morning, I was like, I mentioned something in the bio. He's like, What, what bio? I was, like, I was like, I emailed it to you. He's like, no, you didn't. I was like, yes, I did. No, you didn't. I was like, bro, I texted you and said, I emailed you the bio, and you said, okay. He was like, oh, huh? yeah, you did. That's huh? right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Good, man. He was I, the incredible Dice last anyway, night. That nigga turned and said, Dice Rapify. Yes. Fill us in on Rapify. What is it? Rock. Where can they go get it? No, so, pop it out. So Rapify is a social network for hip-hop culture. Bong. Um... You can grab you can grab it on all iOS devices. Bong. I will have an Android version in the new year. You better uh, come with that Android quick. Everybody ain't got iPhone. I like facts, the fact that you facts. started on iPhone first, though. Yeah, yeah. I Good mean, guy. that's where the, the solid platform is. Yeah. Uh, that's what the what side? I mean, you the solid, platform. The solid you, you have platform. to check it out on the you have to check it out <laughs> on the lower no, platform no, first. So. I no, I, I mean, oh, he it's said not the Google. Not yet, but uh, it, definitely plan on doing that. There's a lot of people who have Android, so we definitely want to support those as well. They're but the, the main reason why this app was created is to create leverage for the artist uh, and the consumer, right? Because you think about the 90s, early 2000s, people selected who the popular artists were, right? Yeah. right? yeah. It wasn't corporations throwing a bunch of money at, you know, uh, folks Radio based stations. off of their numbers. It's, exactly. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's mainly for leverage, you know, uh, example, live streaming services, right? We win it. Per penny, I mean, per per, <laughs> per stream, artists are getting less than one cent, right? 
Win. Titles close to a cent though. Titles, but let them titles, finish, nigga. Shut cl- the fuck up. Close. I know because I stream, nigga. So I know these numbers but too. But, uh, right, but let him the, finish. The audience <laughs> don't know. We're not interviewing Kush. <laughs> we are interviewing <laughs> Mister T. Yeah. But, but that's information because right. that's the shit that Jay talking nigga, about continue, on that. Uh, continue. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. continue. That's fault, why Jay. Dude, huh? That's why Jay is Jay is intelligent, man. He that's why Jay speaking on. Nigga, we know this, but we want to hear what T here has to say. You didn't know that. You didn't know that. Nigga, fuck that. You didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that. Oh shit! So break it down with with you. with artists making less than one cent per stream. Why would we leave the the physical universal file format to just stream? Right. Mm. I'm in this movement to bring back the physical file format because how many we were making a full dollar off a song, right? Yeah. Why would you go to streaming when you can go to a uh, uh, a physical file format, and ha- and and not only that, but have the consumer understand that hey, this is the one thing that Black people produce, right? right. And, and control in a sense, yeah, right? Can control exactly. So why wouldn't you support artists, right? Mm-hmm. I so said, I got a question. Okay, okay, because and he got an answer, right? <laughs> because we dealing in it, we dealing in a time. Where uh, people want to, they they want to go quick. You right. know what I'm saying? They right. they really want the next thing. Like whatever's <laughs> new, they want to be a part of it. Fact. So when you're dealing with a generation like that, um, explain like to somebody where it's easier for them to stream rather than to have the the actual file format, as you say. Right. What's the why, incentive? Right, right. What's the incentive for them? <clears throat> okay. And uh, what physical? So we're talking about MP3. Formats, you know, just a universal file format that would work on any for purchase for purchase, right? And you can you can consume okay. it via any device, right? right. Um, where we're heading to with these streaming platforms is a, a, a few buzz saws. One is um, none of these platforms actually make money, right? Um, why? Because of uh, publishing, right. right? Right. So at some point. They're gonna have to raise the cost on the actual. That's the reason right? why they run commercials on them too. Is they're trying to get sponsorships to create yeah, revenue right, yeah, from yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I know, for instance, like Apple Music and them. The reason why they're trying, it's the amount of subscribers that they have. So if mm-hmm. they get a certain amount of subscribers, they can pay. Is right. that they, everybody doesn't subscribe to one thing also? So they, you know, what I'm saying, if, say Apple Music only got six million and they need twenty million to be able to pay everybody a cent off of the, you know, what I'm saying right. they got to get the twenty million first. So that goes into that also. Right. So <clears throat> we have to, as a community, become more conscious of how we consume things. Right. right? And if we're giving up the ability to house or hold our own files based off of just uh, being able to consume it easily, then what what ultimately are we giving up? Let's just say that you have an album mm-hmm. on Apple Music and then they found some type of issue with it yeah. and they take four of the 10 songs off of the record. They could I've just do that. that shit. Now, I mean, I would right. download an album, but it, it, it would have one song off of it. Right. That's so crazy. you say to yourself, like, Sample I'm like they have I'm like, total why control right. of your content. <laughs> yeah. As an artist and a consumer, it's a horrible experience. So yeah. these are, these are some things that we have to consider going forward because you once they that. have control, you know in America, once control is, is had, <laughs> yeah. that's a, it's a wrap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I'm I'm I, telling people like artists and consumers like we have to be more conscious of how we consume and just because it's easier to consume it doesn't mean that it's a good so thing. so so where you're at which is out now uh-huh. so where you're at like you give them everything <clears throat> absolutely so I mean, right like now, like like you don't hold anything back like Apple or anybody else to control anybody's no, content basically no, no not at all right now I'm building community okay. so right now people can post audio videos images text. Really, I'm not monitoring your your text messages. I'm not accessing any uh, uh, email, anything in your in your device. Man. You know what I mean? Uh, your privacy is your own. Um, Watch the spills, huh? Uh, <laughs> he's always uh, spilled. He spilled it. Fuck the first day with the table. It's his computer. Uh, it's his computer. Though. And this it's is the same computer. nigga. The last time I said, "Yo, don't spill that shit," he uh. said. 
Why are you gonna tell me that? Like I be spilling shit. And five minutes later, <laughs> and five something. minutes later, he spills something every right. single show. Right. Uh, every single so, show. Ta- this just got the new table. He it oh. boy dice that boy I take. Yeah, so, so yeah, I mean, I I, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, from from the artist standpoint, Let me like get a shot, somebody man. like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> already. Right, my shot right, spill. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me let me get a shot, and I will get a shot. Anyway, um, Yo, does Paul but, get a shot? Paul, for somebody, you a shot? Paul don't drink. I'm sure. Yeah, you but, smoke something? Yeah. You do smoke? You ain't never came outside and hit the blunt. Keep asking what you ask. My bad. Sorry. Right, you, but you can't nigga, do it. Nigga, right, nigga, what the fuck are you on doing, the mic bro? While I'm, like I'm. Are you serious? No, I mean, like, like, like we talking. Uh, hey, no, no, I mean, we talking. You spilling. I mean, up. everybody loves you, Paul. Right, everybody loves Paul, but we're in the middle of a fucking podcast, bro. <laughs> that's my dog. I, I know. Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's that's, that's my nigga too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but we can't do that. <laughs> but I have a question. <laughs> Ask your question. Okay. Okay. Yeah, or uh, a comment. Okay. okay. For for somebody like me, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, like I first of all, there's far too many artists to keep up with. So I use Apple Music, even though I have a Samsung phone, just so people know you can also get Apple Music on Samsung products. Right. Um, so like I They even I, crossed over. I, I jumped in. It's not no, because it's a nigga. it's a it's a music streaming. <laughs> that nigga said nigga. It's no it's not it's not a it's not an Apple phone nigga. thing. A lot of people think it's an Apple phone thing, mm-hmm. but it's actually just the a streaming service. Awful, right? Just like via Apple. You know, mm-hmm. just like uh J Title via and, Apple. And, and, anyway. Right. Via. Point point being, who cares about Apple? Anyway, point being is this: like, um, for somebody like me, like I go out there and I just like I'll browse and see what's new. You know what I'm saying? I'll go in, I'll I'll put the music in the cloud, and I'll listen to it. I typically listen to an album maybe once or twice, and then something else is out, and I'll be checking that out. So, like, I don't want to overload my phone with all of these files. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like. What would be your pitch to sway me <laughs> to say, you know what I'm saying? Besides, because you have to think, you're thinking of it as a business aspect for yourself, you know, or not just for yourself, but it, for artists. Right. But for the consumer, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Right. Who just wants to just go out and just listen to music, man, I don't really care who's controlling what. Mm-hmm. What's your pitch to me to sway me to say, come back this way? Well, first, we're going to need to understand what an MP3 format is. Right. Wave files used to, you know, wave files are very huge files, right? Right. And when the MP3 format came along, it compressed that file format, right? Just so we're we're not, we're not we're <laughs> not we're we're not changing the sound. <laughs> exactly. So once you com- you complete that 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 compression, it's a smaller file. So what's stopping us? See, so, like actual size of anything shouldn't be, even be a problem. Period. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but besides that, I think if we incentivize people using file formats, like for example, if artist A has an album and they're selling files, and right. then artist B has it on a streaming format, right? Artist A will say, "Hey, I will give a dollar to every for every sale that would go for book bags for inner city kids." Let me ask you, what would you support? Yeah, I would support that. You would support artist A, right? right. So, again, there are ways. That's what I, I mentioned. Why I mentioned uh, consumers with a conscience, right? You know, uh, and our community needs it most. And here you have a vehicle that's a billion multi. I mean, a billion dollar industry, easy, right. and is the most influential culture in the world. Yeah. Right? So we need to leverage that. So that's what I, that's what I would say to someone who. Just says, oh, you know, it's just easier to consume it this way. I can curate content on on Rapify. You know what I mean? If you're looking for that type of, you know, you want new artists and whatnot, and I have the data to support, okay, this is the hottest artist in Pittsburgh, or this is the hottest artist in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you would be supporting brothers like myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, so everybody download Rapify. Download yes. Rapify. If download you have an Rapify. iPhone yes. or any iOS uh product, you except can, for Android, because you can download Rapify. But he said uh, uh, it's coming. If you, have, if you got an Android like myself, it's coming. It's the coming. next year. It's gotcha. coming at the you said the beginning of the year, right? 
like in February. Yeah, we go. Y'all having a launch party in in February as well. Having a launch party. Yes, we're invited. You want want to talk about that? I will send y'all the information. Everybody working on the detail. Now talk about it. I mean, tell everybody. Tell everybody. Got it. Yeah. So so so. Definitely gonna have a uh, <laughs> album. <laughs> I said an album at release party in February. Details are still tentative uh, there, but I will have information up on Rapify.net. You can check it out there, see um, the details. But it's I want it to be real intimate. I'm still trying to nail down the the spot. Right yeah, yeah. now, yeah. the spot that I, I was going with, it was just a little too big. I was like, ah, I want it to be an intimate vibe. You know, I wanted to invite some 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 notable folks, and you know, just kind of swag it out a bit. I want to you know? go. I, I'll send you an invite. All right, I'll send hey, y'all an invite. Yeah. Make sure they have the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> the white, the white hitty, hitty, hitty. But make sure there's a cap on that liquor. Make sure there's a cap on that liquor. That's awesome. So as an artist, though, so from the, the the being an artist in today's day and age, because when you say physical, I was thinking you were thinking more so like CDs or vinyl, because mm. I know CDs <laughs> is not a medium they use any right anymore. Back. It has to be MP3, right. and you know, part of the reason why people stream is it seems free even though you pay a, a monthly or whatever you get an abundance of music versus a small amount of music so how do you combat that mm. being you know because that's a, that's an advantage from the other company standpoint once you pay your little ten dollar a month fee or a title mm-hmm. you get to stream a, you know right a, I, what i would say to those uh, persons is you don't at that point you're not owning anything you're strictly streaming you're strictly yeah. uh, uh, leasing yeah. content right right and but once you but nobody, once they go nobody up, realizes that mm-hmm. like like I'm an artist like you so I right. remember we grew up in the days where you get a CD or a record or a tape and you open it you fold it out and you read all the notes in it you see who produced you see who did everything nowadays like you rolled around with that 100 CD, CD book. stack yeah, 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 right. yeah but kids don't do that nowadays everybody gets the little exactly. something the song on their phone right. they don't know they don't read any of the stuff so you get credits the music. You, you, yes, you put sir. everybody's credits on, on, on absolutely albums. absolutely everybody that's important that's, yeah, that's, it is bro you know what I mean like, like it is you know what I mean absolutely. who made this you know what I mean who's in there yeah. you know what I'm saying you know what I mean like the ingredients all that, you know what I, mean? I, I used to look personally I, I used to look at all that shit bro that you know shit I mean? is like, like looking mm. at the ingredients yeah you know what I mean food, because, like, because I want to find this person you know what I mean because because you know what I mean I want to Get me a motherfucking um. I, I want to see if I can get get a beat from them too. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying. Like, I, or I, I want to see. I want to see if I can. Right. You know I mean, so now, now they got that. Uh, was it SoundCloud? Was it SoundCloud? Yeah, yeah. SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so you know I mean, but everything isn't on SoundCloud. Let me ask you. Let me tell you <laughs> something. There are. <laughs> You could buy your own cloud. See, this right? Nigga, let's yeah. just let's just get into. There are a lot of um, services that you could take your files, put them. In the cloud, the cloud and then access it from your own server. Right. Right? Yeah. So this it's a myth. piece that we've we're we're buying into is just like name. Right. We're buying a brand, whether it's mm-hmm. Apple. They're uh, the Nike of clouds. It, the, <laughs> Trademark that. Fact, you know what I mean? No, but that's what we're dealing with. So yeah. when we're talking about we it's everything's education, right? Uh in rap or on Means the actual platform. Um, Rapify, we've pl- um, partnered with the Hip Hop Museum in New York, right? Mm-hmm. Why is to educate, right? I think once young people are educated on the pros of file formats and how they can leverage that and then help their communities, they'd mm-hmm. be all in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think these are very small hurdles, what we're talking about. Um, if we, At the end of the day, you're when a when a uh, when we're talking about Apple, we're talking about Google. At any point, they could say, you know what, a hundred dollars a month. Yep. Fifty dollars, whatever. Yep. And you have and to then ask I'm yourself, out. Yeah, right? Yeah. And, and then, then you out. out. And then you're out. And, and then you say to yourself, okay, so how do I consume music? Right. Okay, so music is everything. And man. if they corner everything. the market on the releasing of music, really and truly, like mm. when you say, and then I'm out, then you don't get music. Right. Period. You're out. Because these devices, and, and, and at some wait, point, and they wait, will remove. And wait, and wait, and wait. With no physical, 
right? Because if you download a physical MP3 to your phone, it lasts on your phone. You can take it from your phone, put it on your computer, it'll live on your computer, right? Regardless of what Apple does, regardless of what Tidal does, if they shut shit down, you have it. It's yours. Okay. That's the difference. Yeah, so, 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 so what I want to know is, because you also have a clothing line, and what I want to know is how um, the slogan got melanin, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. had, has something to do with, you know, um, your app. Basically. Well, well, it's just a different venture. Uh, shout out to Flex Alexander. Uh, mm-hmm. He and I have a clothing line called um, Conscious Cloud. Somebody must have scored. <laughs> uh, oh, have a, it's a flag, though. Have, Coming back. <laughs> we have a, 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 a clothing line called Conscious Cloud. Mm-hmm. And uh, so... Against the defense. The word... Uh, the, uh, the, motherfucker. The got melanin came from the fact that there's a lot of people who didn't know what melanin was. What? Or is, you know? What? Um, yeah, this... In this day and age? They're not black. Hey, when I... When I <laughs> they, they, they ain't black. <laughs> so, um, Conscious Cloud was making people conscious of certain words and um, sparking conversation. Like, yeah, for example... Bringing them out of the cloud. <laughs> There you go. Okay, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, hey, right. hey, con- hey, listen, nigga. I mean, I'm just conscious. Con- <laughs> this nigga Trey, like, don't support this uh, nigga. Let's, let's just pray. Let's just pray for this nigga right now. Dear Lord. Please, please, <laughs> nigga. Please. Mm-mm. I got to break it down, know what I mean, for motherfucking people who just don't know. Let him break it down because sometimes your sometimes your interpretation is not what they're trying to inter- is not what they're trying to say. I love how he's taking shots of water like this shit is like. You see, I slam that shit down. See, I slam that shit down. Hey, that's that's H two O, baby. That's it. That's it. H two O X O, nigga. Yeah, me for a second because I thought it was a vodka. Listen real quick. That shit crazy. That shit said bong. I was like, nigga, like this is water. Because I tell you what, 72 percent of Americans are chronically dehydrated. Yeah, I tell people yeah. all the time. On- and, 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 and as barbers, nigga, if you don't drink enough water, your hair is gonna become dry. I, I know, I'm, I know, you know I'm what I'm saying? I know like, I'm, I'm, I'm dehydrated. <laughs> This nigga don't drink water at all. This, this nigga, I, this the nigga that said that water makes his mouth dry. You see my mouth? <laughs> I've been drinking water the whole show, <laughs> nigga. My mouth dry as a motherfucker. Like, oh, like, like man, how does water? water Make your mouth dry. I don't it's because your body is fucking dehydrated. It needs water. It needs more, so you won't. So it won't feel dry. Your body's probably. I mean, so so instead of drinking water, he goes and drink juice and and shit like that. I could drink a whole liter of that shit, and my shit be dry as. (laughs) Like, nigga, how, do you, like, 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 how does that make sense? It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Listen, it don't make Trey, sense, but I'm, I can only tell you what's facts, though. You know what I'm saying? I can't sit here and tell you and pretend my mouth ain't dry Let me ask if you, it is. How much alcohol? I don't really drink do you, a lot of alcohol. Just okay. So. But anyway. So, like, so, but most most Americans. But alcohol don't make your mouth dry. Most, most, most? Of this, 90, 85% of the alcohol I consume is typically on this show. Mm. Like, realistically. Okay. Fair you enough. Know what I'm but just know that there's a correlation between Alzheimer's, high blood pressure, all of that from lack of water. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So drink water, nigga. All I'm and saying to everybody out there is drink. I'm not food. just talking to Trey. I don't give a fuck if that shit make everybody out there. But drink, drink water and then have a sh- and drink some other shit afterwards. <laughs> but at least drink I the do. water. I, I, just, I, I do. I drink the water I don't. and then I have my juice. Mm. Y- nigga, but yeah, you don't really drink hydrated. water like that. Like that. I do. No, so you don't. That's why I was slamming I, I that, like this. Slamming probably, that shit down. I'll like, yeah. drink about it. Let's see. <laughs> if we were going to go on these, I'm just going to judge on, on the sides of this. I may drink about one. No. no <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to keep it one. Nigga, literally, maybe may about, about four about four of these a day. False. That's not enough. That's, That's still not enough. Now I mean, drink eight. You're, you're supposed to take. You know how you got that song your, called Facts? I know, Kush. Uh, I do. This is called False. False. Mm. Take false. false. Take your false. false. Take, take false. <laughs> take your take your weight. Okay, for, hold on. Take this your is weight. my second bottle today. Well, nigga. take your weight, nigga. What? And drink it by ounces. That's what they. Yeah, that's what they. That's what they say. As so, you supposed to do. Well, t- <laughs> listen. When I when I, when, when, uh, when I am no. working out in the gym, mm. uh, which is hardly is uh, in February, um, in February. <laughs> Uh, we just I do drink a lot. Of I, I, I drink a lot of water. Though. Ain't oh, no shit. flag on that one. Uh, just go that one again. Philly, anyway, uh, I, 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 I no, no, finish, okay. finish, okay. finish talking about the uh, the uh, 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 spinach. The what? The um, conscious cloud. Uh, yeah, conscious cloud. Oh, oh, oh. So conscious cloud uh, is a clothing line with uh, Flex <laughs> I'm glad Alexander. You be with me, Paul. Um, 
now I was like, <laughs> no, I, was, I was listening. So, so, was so listening. got the got the got melon and teas. We also have a um, a shirt which is very controversial. It's a six 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 shirt. Oh, which, wow! Of course, um, it's going to be controversial when you got a six 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 shirt. So the the <laughs> science behind that is six protons, six neutrons, six electrons melon. equals me. There you go. Nice. Which is carbon. You know what I mean? So. Hence why we have that particular T-shirt. So it's it's people see it, they see Makes the six six six. Question why they think that's the devil? We're, oh, now but we, that now goes way deeper. That goes way deeper. Right, right, right. Oh, that goes way deeper. That one got prolific. Wow. <laughs> like, wait, I, wait. So the thing that makes us skin mm. is six six six. Right. But six six six, we've been taught is the devil the whole fucking time. Ah. Mm. Oh. Right. Wow. So, and so, they're black. Right. So you know. So these are these are. This is a type of clothing that we create, and y'all can find that on Conscious Cloud. Uh, dot com. So right on. That's super Apple. So. I, I do have a question because we, we've talked a lot of uh, music business. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to pick your brain and, and we're going to talk about the talent side. Mm-hmm. Because okay. as an artist, like, do it, know, brother. what do you feel about today's music? Like, mm-hmm. do you mm-hmm. like it? You know what I'm saying? Of course, <laughs> of course, we have a lot of people, you know, we got the guys that we like, the Kendrick, <laughs> the, you know, the Drake. Because, the, you know I mean, because, whole whole because, because but, you, you know, do, you do rap rock. Right, he does. Uh, no, everything. he does Both. everything. Right. Yeah, he's he's got his. Oh, he's got four different. Race card was rap rock. Rap rock. Okay. Right, right. So, so that's just one aspect. That's not even a genre. Music. No, I mean, I just made it up. It is rap you rock. Know, I- Nigga, this nigga said he made it up. Hey, nigga, how I'm can you make alone. up something? Leave it alone. When this leave it alone. man, leave it alone. It's already leave it alone. Is. Leave it alone, dog. Leave him alone, dog. Just let that man live, dog. Let that man live, dog. In his right, mind, right. he made that shit up, dog. He sat right in next his to mind. This. In his mind, he made Sitting that shit Sitting right up, next dog. to this. I didn't man. know it was called that. And I mean, the, that's what I'm saying. So when I mean. he said it, it was the first time he had heard it. So he clearly made that shit up, dog. Clearly, dog. But he already clearly. said, I have a rap rock. Oh, shit. Damn. Wow, you I didn't know that. Like, rap rock. Oh, oh, another spill. You. Oh, that's I that rap know, rock. Yeah, I didn't know that was it. <laughs> yeah, yo. Wow. I didn't know that was it. Oh, hey, shit. Listen, right. See? I didn't, it's not only, listen, <laughs> I didn't know that see, was he it. He was just talking about this music. It's not only the white people that be stealing your mm. ideas. Mm. It's your brother. <laughs> they just heard to talk to you about your idea and then looked at another man in the conversation and said, Hey, dog, I, I created that this new thing called rap rock. That's <laughs> why he is, That's <laughs> why he started. That's me. all me, because dog. Because I told him, rap rock is the future. That's all me, dog. Rap rock is the future, dog. Yeah. Hey, oh, and it's dude. a group no. out there. It's a group oh, out there no. called Race Car. Yeah. They trying to bite my shit. Oh, my God. It's a God, nigga who is on the podcast trying to bite oh. my shit. Right now, I didn't know that was a genre. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said he had heard it one time in his head, and he didn't know where he heard it in his head. That's what it said. It was echoing his head for like five minutes. Time out. He ain't remember where he heard it. Give me that fucking bottle. (laughs) Give me that bottle back, nigga. (laughs) Nigga, no. This nigga looked him (laughs) dead. This that nigga said, "That's why I created it." (laughs) I know. He was like, "I know inside." That nigga like, "What the fuck?" He didn't say it, but all in his head, everything inside. his body said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. And he was, wow. like, oh, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, this is that nigga said, damn, all this time, I thought I created <laughs> I thought I just told him what it was. No, that's oh, shit, that's hilarious. Oh, anyway, so, so what, what do you think about today's music? Oh, okay. shit. A lot of, a lot of uh, folks tend to God damn. Uh, complain about new age artists uh the mumble rap stuff oh and whatnot God. i look at mumble rap and i see that's like, a genre. I think about i think of scatting that's a genre like now. jazz scatting you know what i'm saying so it's really melodic um so that's your question art is art period and if young people are are, are finding a lane with something and they're tapping into other people it's, they're communicating with other young people 
And I'm all for it. I'm I think that's that's dope I'm because like because like you you are more of a conscious rapper, what people would consider, right? Absolutely. And see, somebody you, you don't really expect, you know, um a lot of the conscious artists to even really respect what they're doing. They be like, ah, oh, they ain't saying nothing, they just boop she bop the bop. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the right. fact we that like you, to have fun the, too. the fact that, you know, you still respect their art even though they come from a different aspect of uh expressing themselves than you do. Absolutely. Uh you know, I I know when I was young and how my parents looked at what I was doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? They were like, "Yo, like I don't want to hear that booga booga shit." Exactly. So turn that shit things. off and 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 look where it's taking things. You know what I'm saying? So I I don't think this is the last stop for what we call hip hop. You know what I mean? Like it'll it'll it, it's it's a bell curve. You know what right. I mean? It'll it'll slide up and appeal to certain people and then not. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, for for me, I like a little bit of everything. You know, There's when I'm when I'm at the club, genres, there's music out there. Yeah, I'm at, if I'm at the club, I'm not about to listen to Tyler Quali. Is all right. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Um, but well, if I want to sit, I want to sit. Bad. Just to get by is it bad in the club? I, <laughs> I, I you know, I'm not. I, I don't, you know. But when it comes, like, I'm if fine. I'm outside, I'm listening. I want to be, you know, yeah. uh, mentally, mentally uh, stimulated. I'm listening to Tyler. I think he's one of the best lyricists out here. Right. So um, I'm not going to look at like a, 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 you know, if we're talking about Lil Uzi Vert. Right. Um, I think all these brothers is, is talented in their own way. So continue to do what y'all do. Period. That's what's up. You know. The e- oh, <clears throat> but if you walk around, well, no, I'm gonna be- my, my only my only issue is, and it's some not of the it's, presentation it's, it's, of some of these young brothers. But see, well, it's, it's not like, it's not I, their I, fault. It's no, not I, I ain't even gonna say that. Nigga, I mean, because time, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out, though, time out, though. Really, it's like it's just weird to us because it's our generation. But if you look back at the beginning of hip hop, nigga, when hip hop was really um, merged with a lot of punk type clubs and shit, especially back on the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas was always funked out. You look, uh, yeah, Grandmaster that, Flash, like the everything was funked out and say. Well, but it's then, it's, it's it, their it's expression. It's, I get you on the expression, but and, I mean, nigga, Prince, you was se- Prince was semi feminine, and Prince is one of the gangsters niggas of, of all time. time. Right? You know what I'm saying? Facts. So Facts. yeah, I it's mean, just, it's just a different time. It's just it's not for it's not for us. Like you know, I think it's a little weird, but it's their the shit that we did was a little weird. Also bag, our baggy back ass in. clothes, nigga. Shit that was hey, clothes, nigga. I, I was like a size thirty four. Allen Iverson. I was a size mm. thirty four in high school, wearing like a size forty. You know right. what I'm saying? I so size thirty. That, that shit looked like that <laughs> shit like a fuck. Uh, it looked <laughs> like you wearing some guy that, and it's heavy as fuck. But it's here's the thing: and if you right. see somebody walking around like that now, that's good for East Coast in the wintertime. You'll be like, look at this fool. You know, if you see somebody dressed, but back then you thought it was cool, so it's just like. You just got to get people, uh, 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 let them express themselves how and, they want and, to. And it's not, the reason why I say it's not really uh, their fault, why they're just they talking fault. about sex, money, murder, is based off the fact that well, as we older that as we, people. like, we, we are, we right, we as griots, we as community leaders, hold on, hold on. as as Griot? black men, griots, I, griots, you know, are, you know, know, you know good, griots. Griots. you know good and well, you Griot. can't put, no, first of all, that got three <laughs> syllables in it, <laughs> Griot. 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 So, that makes it, hold up, wait a minute, right, wait a minute, before you go any further, you got to spell that, these are, these are, I got it, I got it, not me, because, not me, a, a, a day wasted is something that you do, that, that you don't learn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I mean, so, so this is something that I'm about to learn for today. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. like what's the deal? So, so griots are, 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 are were the storytellers in ancient Kemet. Um, black people, uh, well, let's just call us Africans for lack of a better word. Um, you do throughout history, Kemet, right? yeah, throughout history, we use storytelling as a way to teach the youth. Okay. Right? And if one of the so, first methods, which is why hip-hop connected, was mm-hmm. through the drum. Mm-hmm. They there spoke through the drum, yeah. which is why we as Africans are connected to the drum. First. So, that's so the, Griot the is... That's a storyteller. That's okay. the beat. You would yeah. play a All rhythm right. and that shit could travel for miles back in the Facts. day. That's, that's not Griot. Griot is a storyteller. The storytellers the way that they... tell stories on the drums. Right. Would y'all oh. let the man talk? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Do so. y'all not understand the meaning of guest? <laughs> he is our guest. Everything <laughs> this nigga has tried to say, these niggas have chimed in and just 
took over his statement. <laughs> and let this man talk. There's a difference between Damn, you, you I and swore. Miss Landis Wardell. That's the time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> El Capitan. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. Like, it, I swear, I'm asking this oh, man a question. That he's alarm, in the, every bro. time he's in the middle of talking, this nigga's coming to die. The drums is traveling. Like, <laughs> Chris, Chris is killing us right now. Let this oh, man finish shit. his statement. Griot. Yeah. That's what the griot is. All right, but, but go ahead. Finish. Uh, it, now, that, now that I know what a griot is, you okay. can continue going. Yeah, that, I just think that we need to do a better job of uh, reaching out to these young people and, and letting them know, like, yo, we, we support you, but let's give you some energy where you can talk about something different. You know what I'm saying? There's more to you than your sexuality, um, how tough you are. You know what I mean? You can find out more about yourself right. through mentorship yeah. and, and being able to just build. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's it. So yeah. Slick Rick, Nas, mm. And um, I like, 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 not me, Kara's one are griots. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Back. There you go. I'm not talking about. Okay, baby. Exactly. And, 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 we need to, and we need to let these young people know. We have to let them know that they're the you next, they're the next griots. You, seen it. you, you, you know seen what I'm saying? Yeah, yo. They I'm got still stories. talking over this man. This nigga look right. He's like, they the next griots. This nigga still talking over me. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I'm about to die. You know what? Maybe I should have did a phone conversation with you because these niggas is just not respecting your yo, time. Yo, 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 real quick though, real quick. Flexing Shanice. Okay. Tell um um what's that about? It, it's a reality show. Yeah. Uh. So Flex and Shanice had a on uh, on oh, um, oh, um, on um, okay. yeah. Uh, it's Oprah Winfrey's uh, network. So, oh, uh, oh. yeah, it was on for three seasons. Uh, you know, it did pretty you well. You was in the third season, right? What was, was it in, about? Was like, like, what was, what, what the was it about? It was a reality show. I understand it. Yeah. I mean, it's a reality, but what were they doing? Like, okay, I so. I, like, uh, tell us about it, shit. Okay. <laughs> so, Flex, Flex and Shawnee's uh, was a show based on. They're like this, y'all need. Right. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> from, from, from Master Flex, no, oh, oh, no, no, no. Master Alexander. Okay. 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 Exactly, okay. nigga. Now, now I mean, I, now I mean, y'all know, but the people don't know. You hold on, wait a minute. Time out, time out. Hold on. Right, right. So he's gonna start a company called What Is It? Conscious Cloud with Flex Alexander. But then he's gonna be on a show with Funk Master Flex, <laughs> nigga. Listen, I don't know if Funk Ma- I don't know if Funk Master Flex last name is Alexander, not me, or or, or Flex, not me. I need the bomb. Flex, Flex, not me. I, I never knew Flex's bomb. last name. Only thing I know is okay. Flex. Paul, okay. drop a You understand, not me. I know <laughs> Funk Master Flex, not me, and I know Flex. You know what I'm saying, not me. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying. I don't know. You know what I mean. So for people, for people who don't know, like like me, for people who don't know, like me, now I mean, explain that shit. So he just so happened to have a, sh- a company with Flex, Alexander, and then, and then have a TV show with Funk Master Flex. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> nigga, you know what I mean? <laughs> Funk Master Flex could have been using his last name. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I didn't know. What is last name? I didn't know. I can't mean, even get the shit out. I can't but even get this shit out. Flex isn't his yeah. real first name. Now, I mean, the only thing he using is his is is his, his actor name with his last name. Now, I mean, what the fuck is his real name? You know what I'm saying? So nobody know him, but <laughs> not nothing me. else but Flex <laughs> Alexander. Not no, they know him as Flex. <laughs> From the Flex. time this nigga has done comedy, Flex. You know what I mean? they know him as Flex <laughs> to acting. He has been oh Flex my God. Alexander. If you go way back to Deaf Comedy Jam, it's a Flex. He said Flex, Flex Alexander. They didn't say Flex Alexander. They said Flex. Uh, <laughs> they said Flex. Oh, no, 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 no. Flex, we do it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but why he hit you with? Why he hit you with? They ain't call him Flex Alexander. That nigga said, hold on. That nigga they said, called him just Flex. Said, <laughs> tell, tell me about Flex and Shawnee's. Funk Master Flex? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, 50 minutes of fun. Uh, this is why, this is why, you know what I mean? this is why our podcast is so good. You know what I mean? This is hilarious. These, oh, these are the man. reasons why, nigga. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Frickin' oh. fret, nigga, and then back. Oh, oh nigga. Oh, but anyway, you know what I mean? Tell, so, I, how so, was it? What, what were you doing on there? Who were so you on there? So I'm, I'm, I was just the, uh, the supportive. <laughs> I was just the supportive cousin on the show. Uh, Who's your cousin? 
I nigga uh, flex, nigga. No. Oh, uh, Shanice. Oh, Shanice. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I already knew the answer. My nigga. Yeah. I was we, just we gonna all, let him see. Hey, it's that's all. why. That's why I asked the question to right. let. Hey, wait, 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 wait. The only thing, the only reason why I thought that is because I knew that you knew flex. We right, need right, to right, pack right. from, from the barbershop. Right now. Not me. So <laughs> I, I just automatically thought that. Yeah, you know. No, it's all. Me and Flex are like we're brothers, best friends. Family, period. So it's all family uh, at the end of the day. But Shanice, who the is fuck Shanice, is Shanice, Shanice, Shanice married Flex, and that's how I was introduced to him. Shanice yeah. is his cousin. Yeah, I know, nigga. He just yeah. said that. Oh yeah. So I heard you. He was gonna tell you the first time before you jumped out. Said flex, <laughs> <laughs> front hey, master oh. flex. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Listen, 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 listen. What the fuck is up with Flex's haircuts? Hey, Nigga, so, time, so, time so, out, time so, okay. out. What? So, so, so. You can't have, listen, you can't have this man's people on here and just blast that man out. Nigga, like, why not? Yo. So, something wrong with his haircuts? What's wrong with his haircuts? Nigga, like, I, the last couple things that I've seen him on. That's for, oh. that, that's for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was for you on the Shanice thing. Okay, <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know what I mean? The last couple things that i actually seen this thing on, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, you can see a line in his face. And right. as barbers, okay. now I mean, the first thing we do, now I mean, the first thing we do it's is look at your hair. hair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now I mean, and I'm like, I know Ali cut him. Mm-hmm. Now I mean, he used to cut him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now I mean, <laughs> now I mean, he He's used to be cutting Ali because, under the bus right no, now. No, nigga, no, 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 no. Time nigga, time Ali time. is a great fucking barber. Nigga, you know what I mean? I mean, one of the best that I know. Dice, we're not going to do this. We are going to do this. No, we're not going to, no. Flex is not here to defend himself. Nigga, tell he that nigga to come back to Ali. He don't know. Tell Flex to come back to Ali. He don't know. So well, well he he, he gonna know now. That's like a nigga. He gonna walk, tell that, Shanice. That, that, now me and Shanice gonna tell her motherfucking husband. I like nigga, you need smile. to go back to Ali. She loves his smile though, not his we haircut. Apologize. Oh my god. Man, I fuck apologize. that. Yeah, no. Flex go is... back to Ali. Oh, wow. okay. In the cut, nigga. Give me that bottle. G- yeah, get the bottle back yeah. right now. Yeah. See, it's Paul. Paul, yeah. grab that bottle. It's starting to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> he about when to flip the table happens, over. Yeah. He about to flip the table yeah. over. Bring the, bring go the back to Ali. Oh, shit. I love this sound effect. I love it. Paul is telling us we need to start rapping. Wrapping this up, so okay. I want to give hey. you a chance. Time okay. out. Yeah. I want to give you a chance to tell the people where they can follow you, okay. where they can download. You know, just all your all social media, like everything, everything okay. that they need about. Okay. You. So first and foremost, y'all can go to your iOS devices um, uh, or go to um, Rapify.net. You can download Rapify, the application, the social network for hip hop culture, and you can find me on every social media platform in existence under Tahir Jahi, which is T-A-H-I-R-J-A-H-I. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything. Bang. So, there you Bang. Go. There you go. Connected Bang. everywhere. Bang. Facts. Hey, man, I do want to thank you for stopping through and, and oh, kicking man. it with us, man. Even though mm-hmm. we only got to hear half of your interview, <laughs> these other niggas decided they wanted to answer the rest of the questions for you. Uh, we said we like to thank you anyway, man. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm-hmm. just thanks for dropping through, man. Thanks for this having This has me. been another episode of Barbershop, Barbershop Talk <laughs> Like This. I'm your host, Trey the Barber. And it's your other host, Dice the Barber. It's Kush down here on the other end, bro.